Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some Boris Prowess. Boris has been a popular color combination right now in terms of playing humans. However, we're going to abandon that idea completely as I had an idea at 3 in the morning and I said I want to play Prowess and Monastery Mentor because it's crazy to me that that card is completely unplayable as it seems. So this is my current list. Um, you can take it as you will. Maybe you have some additions you would prefer to play. However, one of the spicy cards that we are using that did not get to see much feature play today is Helping Hand. The idea is we play Monastery Mentor on Curve, they remove it, and then we bring it back. Because realistically, the reason Monastery Mentor is good is because of making other creatures. And then we would use that ability to pay one mana to put this into play and then go from there. Outside of that, we got a lot of what you would consider to be mono red cards with the spicy cards NT in the deck to draw and put counters in places and the spell sphere in here as well. So we have a pretty good stretch. So we're going to show the games and I hope you all enjoy them. And if you do, please be sure to subscribe. Outside of that, I'll catch you in the arena. All right, we go first. We have Kamano Kamano. We have the spice card of choice. And then we have a Rin's Resolve. So sure, we'll try this hand. Worst case scenario, we'll play Kamano. We'll miss a counter on a creature. Fine, but we do have three lands in hand, which is pretty good for us. Considering we run 18. Cool. I guess I like playing this and just playing the other Kamano more. Looks like Rakdos maybe be more or less. The Anvil could be... I don't know, a lot of things. It's Anvil. Rakdos Sacrifice, I'm pretty sure. Okay, come on now. I play 18 lands. I don't need to be doing this. You guys ready for two more lands? Not close. No Seagar. Get the Swiss Spear in, it'll get a counter. So we have a pretty aggressive. Four down to 13. They do have removal, and they do have hindrance plays in terms of putting bodies in front. There's the anvil, they're gonna sack this, lose a life, gain a life back from the anvil, draw a card, make a 1 1. Um, pretty solid. Um, the only problem here is the creature damage so they actually want to get exiled therefore this still works although you find a monster rage which is by far the best situation for us no pawns here this was if you're confused why this is an exile twice remember it came off the range resolve so now it's actually in our discard pile or better known as our graveyard attack we're pretty much lethal here. I assume they're going to try to chump the biggest that they can. Going to chump for enough. And then we have the same amount of damage that our prowess deck can put out. Alright, we go first. We have creatures in hand, so we'll keep. And our mana curves out really well. It's probably one of the better looking hands we'll have. Uh, mountain? I don't know. Bad. Sure. A forge. Um, I appreciate the land. I would never draw another one. The only acceptable one would really be a man land. I've harvested. Okay. Well. I think the plan here is to play Swiss Spear. Fight this out of the way. Get aggressive. I guess our lands aren't necessarily too bad because of this guy. But um, here we're not going to do it because we will be able to play it. Discarding a card for a counter does not seem reasonable. Got for me. Anvil. Oh, I'm playing an anvil deck again. gain you the life though really nice about doing that the light um yeah so we move to combat first play 
get rid of the forge take a little less damage especially knowing how top heavy their deck can get Let's spread it out just so we have enough size all the way around Crawl another land block the most damage activate anvil yeah still gain the life now fine but now they won't have a 1-1 one -one. they'll require another artifact um realistically can't channel this from here i forgot that because it channel is discarding it and this is an exile so you can't technically discard it play the mentor pass and nine so we're just wanting to put as much out as we can they don't really have board wipes unless person change what the normal anvil decks are running Oh, we go first. We have a lot of spells. We have one creature, which kind of it'll be fine. Maybe you have a rend resolve to try to get there, and then when this does attack, it does do well. Get him in. Demic artifacts, which has a basically good record. Okay, other land is actually really helpful here. Move the combat. Pack. Or this. Because this will go to three. I doubt they block. Good. Not to. Want to benefit from here. Hit. My plan is to lightning strike this away so they don't get anything too crazy going. Have a 4 4 held back with trample permanently. Could put stuff in the way. Um, I don't know what that 3 drop is called, uh, but they can't do it now. The one, whenever it goes in the graveyard, they kind of discover. They have a green and they can speed. Okay, so one of the up and coming most popular decks, I would say. Um, I think. Uh, a shizzle is that how you say her name she went like 25 and 0 with a simic artifact list i think it was in best of three but from my experience in best of one it's just like more decks are a little bit more all in so i think people need to kind of go out of their way to adjust it a little bit maybe bring in some cyborg cards preemptively like for example haywire might the card that was residing in the sideboard, which I think you'd want in the main board for your cauldron to put on the things if you ever need it. All right, well, not necessarily a hand we can keep based on the land situation, but this one is like more keepable. I know this seems a little bit awkward. You see like a Swiss spear and the sundown pass, but we might have forge play Swiss spear and then the forge will still be held up for a monstrous rage. We'll keep and we'll throw the legendary creature back. White. Just humans. Soldiers. Value is going to be a tough one. So we'll play Swiss Spear. A little bit of an argument could have been made to actually have Sundown sun down Pass held back. No attacks right now. I think in terms of one punch power, we're a lot higher on that. So if I can just like kind of shoulder check this thing, I will. Oh, this is the artifact. Heck, um, that's tough. Well, I guess we gotta hold up this play with fire. So we can give them options to make a mistake here. They block with one, we play with fire the other one. We could also monster rage if they double blocked. They don't, but we hold play with fire for the this thing that's going to enter the battlefield. Oh, they didn't do it. Okay. They don't have it. There's a the three drop saga that enters and it puts a one one on a thing. Still end a turn for each uh each artifact you have, and it's definitely scary. Here I just have a weird suspicion that we're not supposed to really do anything. Um. I'm going to go ahead and attack this to make it a little bit awkward here. Make it a little bit bigger. We do find a land source, which is really nice. Uh, it's 
attack. We'll do this. The homestead courage. Maybe find a room. Oh. Land. Honestly, even better. Being a land off the top. Do nothing. I do think my plan again, like I said, is to wait for that to happen. This is a lot of damage they have, but I do think I'm striking back for more. Um, not really doing the math, I guess. But uh, so they have power worth greater. Knight. That is a fair play, a weird one for me. Did not expect that card to be in their deck. Uh, yeah. A hopper, dude? That's so sick. Look at this little goose, dude. You're getting convoked in. Okay. Can we punish this? Punish this boy. Dude. Third amount of damage. And it's looking pretty close. Or worst case scenario, make it where like kill them. So two, three, four, because it's gonna put a counter somewhere. So four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, twelve. Yes. Can we do sixteen. I doubt it. It's a hard thing to kind of track here. I mean, I'm going to try to make it as close to lethal as possible. Just hope they don't have it. I don't really think I can afford the wait around. Put it here. Vigilance. All spear. So this is three. And this, so four. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We'd be just short. Unless I did my math wrong. Play a spell spear just to pretty much block. We have two tramplers. So, could be pretty close. Yeah, I was definitely short. Now that I see them at eight, I'm like, yeah, this was not getting us there. But it was close. It's close. We have two blockers back. They don't really necessarily seem like the removal style deck. Um, what attack here? And I guess their flyers have vigilance. This guy is actually so underratedly good. Um, it's like criminal how good he actually is. This is a assembly work artifact. Oh, you just got double checking on. Um, no, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. What? What? This card exists? Okay, listen. If you think I'm playing around this card, you're a liar. And if you think you're playing around it, unless you've seen it before, I think you're also a liar. This card is not real. It does not exist. I do not believe it. Okay. Um, I mean, we keep. We go first, so. Try it. Oh man, uh, play the creature. See ya. Two, white. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Go to combat. Okay, let's trigger resolve. The goof. Spend this. Yeah. Uh man, what an unfortunate time to have a tap line, huh? What a clean what a clean play that would have been. Just get the commander down, I guess. Just make this appear. No, that like it would have just been nice to have the card over here be the one that gets countered instead of having to use one from our hand. But we'll pass here. The 3-3. Three, three. We do have a rent resolve. They can kind of keep tempo. What's the play? 
Uh, make two Krakens. Okay. It's not traditional blue white, as you can tell. I'm getting the old one two wombo combo. Which is sweet in of itself. Combat. Attack. Trigger. Oh boy. Is it to throw the helping hand away? I think so. I think we have way better hits. And I want this counter. Okay. A land's not an awful hit. Now it has trample too. It's kind of the upside here. It block, I feel way better about my chances of this thing. Don't. I got hold of the monster's rage because I'd like to fire off the rent resolve here. Set up for my turn much best I can. Okay. In the weirdest way possible. Um, kind of a brick. I mean, we have a land, so if we hit another one, which is unlikely in the first place, we're kind of in a whatever spot. Although, we do have enough mana now to bring up the land as a creature. Eh. Sure. This land drop from them. Play this land. This guy's really not doing anything. I just don't think bringing this up now makes sense. So. Fire off Rend Resolve, because if we hit a surge, they're in a lot of trouble. I would assume this is just another, like, make this appear or something. No. Okay. Fire this off here. This will give it vigilance, so it won't actually tap. And we can go for lethal, I guess. Assuming they don't have anything, which they most likely do. Um, we'll decline here. What do you have? Last creature to try to get this down. I know they are playing like the... Uh... Seems like the wrong choice. Here. I get it. One is kind of drunk. I guess that makes sense because we have this here. You know, we can just replace it. On the other hand, we can't really place this here. So I lied. It made sense. Now we can actually flip our spell spear. Monster trade. We have a lightning strike. Let's let it land. Let's attempt to do this. Don't mind taking the damage. We're gonna remove it in response not though and now this has ward two and prowess and triple prowess so move our way to combat here find this because our spells in our hand are incredible emperor uh yes huh assume we're losing this guy so it makes sense I'm pretty sure we have the damage. Uh, block? Just trample. And you don't block. Okay. That's gonna do it. And before that, we didn't have enough with just the monster trade. You gotta remember that I got two counters off the lightning strike. Now we had enough. I guess first, our only creature in hand is a Minthor. We have a Renders off. Have like pretty good payoff spells. So I think it's fine. We hit another land. Great. We also hit another creature. It's also great. We do. We find one. But Domain's going to be a little bit tough. I think. Unless it's just bank control. We find another land. So we fire up the NP. I don't know how you actually like pronounce that, but I keep saying NT like the letters N and T, like nice try, nice try. Like a lot of people just say NT. Okay, so. Uh, 
My bad. That's the wrong homestead away. Okay. I think that answers my question. Play this. Now, in two turns, they're like dead no matter what. However, Leyline Binding exists. Gary Stomper number two is not good enough, really. Okay. Good Sunfall. So I'm not in the business of getting Sunfalled. Let's run resolve here. Played a land from hand already, so it's kind of that we did that. Combat, I guess. Act these. Oh, discard. Here. I'm playing this like very weird. I don't really like it. Um. Yes, we just ash in. Um, monster trades would probably be good enough. Most turns, but we already have two here. Oh, uh, what is the math? I would have just monster raised twice. Six. I think I missed lethal. But it's being annoying. I missed lethal by doing that, I think. Alright, now sunfall me. Do the thing I was trying to play around. Oh, you played that, so you die. Even if you have a ley line binding, it will not be enough. All these have prowess. I won't even block. You can have it. I guess I could have blocked it, play around. The... You don't have two reds. I don't have to do that. Oh, it's my go. Who would have thought? This one. Play brown creatures. My opponent didn't want to be here. They didn't have to be. I didn't convince them to stay. They stayed on their own. There go. What are they doing? <laughs> like, I should have double my. Would it actually been lethal? They're at three, I think. No, because I did two. So it would have been one more plus one. They would have went to one. We would have missed lethal by like the shortest margin, I think. I could be wrong. I'd have to look at it back. It's my go, so I have to hurry. Go first. And our hand is out, so yeah, we'll keep. Take a little bit of extra damage than we want to, but. Make mono play E. And maybe like Rin's Resolve or something if you have and Aries? This deck around in a while. Could not be. It could just be like this is what they're using for now. Go for the throne's optional ego drain. I think I just play my 3-3 three, three here. Could play a 2-3 and have haste. Then play into after. But also have gotten this down. So it's like, I don't know. There's way for both cut down is not big enough for that this card which is like another good thing for this so very nice is if they do have ego drain eventually they only have one fairy in play i can move it on to the grain you'll have to exile a card from hand really nice we're probably gonna see a little bit of a weird situation where we attack here might try to ambush us figure we'll go on a stack happen either way actually i kind of wanted to let the rinse resolve go but i think maybe it's just with spear we're not going to really see a whole lot of board wipes i'll try to put a counter here to have it go over cut down that's fine with me so dodges that i guess 
Uh, would you like to block? No. I can just cash in. That's good. Still don't come on out. I think this is more of a priority target anyway. They're down to 10. I just trample. Cool. It's also just solid 4 4 right now. And they 3 20. If they do have a go for the throat, they'll be shielded now from everything else. Go drain. It's a hard choice. Take the other creature. Do you take the lightning strike? Which the lightning strike makes sense. Um, I forgot that that's how that was going to work. Is it until the end of our next turn or end of. Oh, your next end step. So we actually get this card. That is. Ugh, they were. They're probably not happy about that decision. And how that card worked. So we, of course, we put Swiss Spear on the stack. We fire this off, targeting Swiss Spear. Sure. Counter one part of it. Play it again. Uh, we target this now, though. The reason we target here is because this would be too big to trade it off anyway. Uh, we can go to combat. I'm gonna attack here. I do want to resolve this trigger and put a counter on something. Just make it universally as hard as possible for them to deal with. Now they have to trade. If not, they're going to two. We'll remove one. Most likely it'll be the most likely be this here. Then maybe they'll keep this around, but neither block is good. They'll just end up most likely having to block with the next turn because even like double go for the third, it's not enough to answer this. Go first. Ugh. Gosh, the hand's so sick though. You still have a high probability of drawing another land. Yeah, it's mall. Just have to. And we'll put, we'll just put Mentor on back. Uh, throw him up. We're already down to four cards. Looks like Mono Red is the matchup of our dreams. Would have thought. Well, I think we just play the big boy that can overwhelm them much quicker. Than what they probably got going on. I assume this will probably get hit with the spell, but if it doesn't. Probably sticking for a while. We need to take play with fire. Monster spray. Not even a, not even a combat one. I'm not gonna remove anything there. Crazy son. All right, I think this is a chance for us to try to close. Now we're taking damage from our lovely forge here. So much that it, so much that it hurts. On the 11, and we're pretty close. Your Ring Resolve plus like Burn Spell, and Phoenix Six cannot block. A Lightning Strike Spell Spear this time. And no siree, not again. Monster Strike, and no. I'm sorry. What? What are you doing? Uh, we'll rend resolve. Uh, we find a monster trade of our own. Act, and they concede because they accidentally did not attack me. And we would have been at six. Said we're at ten. And they're most likely not going to find lethal. I just loved that they accidentally passed through, and their response was hello. <laughs> um. It was first, I guess. Not an awful way to do this. I think we can just like, I think the option is still just slam this with spear and go about our day this way. We could ley line binding it, but I think they would try to do it in response to us monsters raging. Leaves our surge of salvation up to be good. Maybe it's just S word as well. 
I was hitting lands though, it's gonna be kind of annoying. The combat. Back. Sure. That out of the way. I'm gonna just dry, but I guess you kind of blow that out, which is nice. We'll pass, we have a surge. Uh, X proof. Here's a routine that we can't beat, probably. Uh, Clyde. Seems a lot more likely we can beat it. Bell Spear is really strong. No attacks. Especially when we flip this. Or less like on their shielded here, which is fantastic. Hack here, I was going to say, I think would be incredibly loose. We could do this at any time. It's only sorcery. Uh, brutal. Activate. I don't have a blue. Attack or not to attack? Or two. I don't know what they would have really to take it out. I could try to smite it, but then we can surge. But I'd rather have it protected. In that regard. Maybe I just. I don't. If I attack and they block, I'm just going to let it bounce. I'm not going to go in here. Yeah. I, I couldn't see them necessarily blocking if they feel like they have to keep this ravine around. The virtue. They could have tried to double block. Choose not to, though. <sighs> we don't have one of those. Okay. Add attacks. I guess. Bucks. Got no counter because they've been to land anyway. Here comes land. Here comes hard virtue. Have like a turn to kind of punch through this. That's a good guard to punch through it. It's going to be enough. Start off with Kamano. I don't know how to do math, so. I guess. And a wise, it doesn't matter. Do this. We're putting it on here because this has trample already. Like, this is just gonna get big enough in general on its own. Kind of stump. Super, super massive. We attack out here. Double block to Swift Spear? You're not even considering blocking that? Okay. I left up a mana. I feel like you have to, like, try to block this. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That seemed... Me leaving up one suspicious mana and... Attacking all out kind of implies that I have I mean I'm attacking for lethal anyway, I guess I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one All right, I think we played Enough matchups where we can kind of get a feel for this going up untapped right now. So I know Exactly kind of how it went down. There was a couple unfortunate games. I think Uh one game I definitely played like bad. Uh, we went we went eight five. It, not necessarily the worst. Uh, we lost Mono White, and Mono White does seem to be kind of the Achilles heel for us for sure. They play low to the ground creatures, and it's very hard to kind of like keep up with or trade it off if we kind of flood a little bit. It's and flooding in this deck is significantly different than flooding in other decks. It's like if we're hitting past if we hit a land past four, we're flooding. Because we have 18 in total and we don't really want that most that we want is to be able to activate this or play a monastery mentor and have a spell up and that's kind of like the process of the surge or the helping hand which we didn't get to use at all today because we didn't find ourselves in that grindy of a matchup it was a lot of like going face or then getting sunfall or something like that yeah we took down a lot of good and solid best of one decks that generally are fine in the meta by being over the top aggressive so our creatures in question are like 
these guys right here. I really have to sneak. Uh, Kamano in this spot is kind of referred to as a creature just because it does flip into one. And a lot of times with things like Monstrous Rage and um, Homestead Courage and things like that, you don't really necessarily need this to be that big. Like whatever creature doesn't have to have the prowess. It's just really nice if they do because they get a lot bigger a lot faster. But with like Monstrous Rage, Homestead, and just like some other little things along with like the play with Fire and the Lightning Strikes, like Kamano can serve enough just being a 2-2 for us to achieve our game plan of winning but outside of that it weirdly felt better than i thought it was going to i even went and i went to the normal play session and i'm like i think i think i'm coping i think i just want this deck to be like good i want to play like not mono red i kind of want to play the cool prowess creatures that exist in the format like how do we have monastery mentor in our format but it doesn't exist anywhere so i was just like playing it last night it was pretty late it was like three in the morning and i was like yeah, it's probably not that good. Let's just fire it up. And I ended up with a good, like a win, like a positive win rate today. Uh, it was 86 on the play and 33 on the draw. So that might have to be something we have to uh, consider. But also, the 13 games is not very, like a very high, uh, high rate. What? Tell me. Uh, it probably does. Oh, it does. Um, Mono White was one of the things... I played against Mono White twice on the draw. And I think Mono White is already just bad for us because they kind of match us creature for creature, but also like the X like the two ones are kind of tough and they do kind of exile. We can beat it. Like I think if we're on the play, we can beat Mono White. But with Mono White on the play, and then we saw in one of the matches they like or maybe not, they just played three one drops and I just like I can't beat that. Like I just had to maul and I looked at it and I was just like, I really don't have anything to do. Um, other games I flooded a little, which was kind of weird. Um, and then there was another one in which I kept and I went down to like 20 cards. Like I went through 20 cards and I never found a creature. Like I just, times has to be the way it be. I had like the four monster rages in my hand and no outlet to put them on. So it was definitely tough, but other than that, the deck felt good. I don't really recommend crafting it really, but also if you want to, you can just because like, I think this is a hot and cold deck. Like days you'll queue it up and you're just like, why am I not just playing mono red or you'll queue it up and you'll be like, I love monastery mentor and the way that this deck is kind of built. Uh, but however, if you do want to craft it, this whole category here is um, commons and uncommons. So it's very easy to do. And then here, like realistically, we talked about it in the matches. You could play without these. Just kind of put your basics in accordingly. And then like, um, realistically, all you need is these battlefield forges and then maybe some sundown passes. And these are even questionable as well. So these are in just because they're basics, but not basics. And then we have basics. You realistically could play this deck with entirely just basics. It would just be a little tough in spots. Um, prioritizing like whether it's red or white like homestead courage kind of demands a little bit more than it seems because you want to cast both sides the same turn but outside of that i think nt was a really good addition to the deck i think uh spell spear proves that if it's not answered the turn is played and i think you want to kind of play it on turn three to have like that spell up especially if you have the surge kind of how we played it in the final game where we always had that protection spell up they wanted to remove it but outside of that, I enjoyed the deck. I had a good time. I hope you all did as well, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.